Welcome back guys, so this is another tutorial from Demon Warrior Tech and I'm going to show you how to get unlimited streams running through your Jellyfin um, install using hardware acceleration with an external GPU. Basically any GPU above a 10 series should work. Most GPUs in 950s and above will also work, but anything below a, a GTX 960 I would not recommend using. Uh, those will have very little improvement over what you currently have, and I would again not recommend it. The first thing we need to do is go into this GitHub, and I will put it in the description. And uh, we need to get this NVIDIA patch. So if you're on Windows like I am, uh, you'll want to go to this one. If you're on Linux, you can click on this link, and they're both interchangeable. So if I click on this link, it'll also have the Windows patch in here as well, right at the top. Wait, it won't actually because after that it puts you in an older link. But this will basically be the Windows install. And if you're on Windows, this is probably why you're looking at it. So first thing we need to do is we need to download the 1337 uh, EXE, which will be right next to MVIC patch setup. So let's get that first. So let's download that. It'll come in a dot rar. So we're, we're going to save it into a documents folder. And we're just going to name it. Uh, no. Jelly Fin Patch. Okay. And click Save. And we need two more things. So next, we need to go into our control panel. So we right here, we're going to go into our control panel of our NVIDIA settings to see what driver we have. And the reason we're going to do this is because once we do that, and I, I have the latest one, so I have 526.47, which is great. Once we realize we have that, we can go back to this NVIDIA patch. And we want to go down, all the way down to the section where it says NVIDIA, Windows 10, Windows 11. We're going to find our patch version. So I'm just going to go all the way down the bottom because I know mine's the latest. If you don't have the latest, you can always update it using the NVIDIA um, tools that um, they have on their website, but I don't need to. So I'm on 526.47. So here's 526.47. You're going to right click on the library 64 bit and click save link as. And we're going to save it. I'm going to go back into downloads. Call the Jellyfin patch. Okay, we'll save it right here as the original name that it's named. We're just going to select it as all files because it is in a text document. Let's click all files just so it saves correctly. Do the same for 64. Right click the link. Click save link as and save it in there. Now, if you run Discord or you have Moonlight, if you're streaming like games from your PC, you're going to need one more thing, which is the skip sig check. If you don't have this, uh, basically it won't allow you to patch it. It'll give you some weird error saying uh, it's not compatible or it won't let you continue through. Um, so let's save that there. And we're just again going to change this to dot all files. Um, okay, once that's done, now we need to find our directory. So we're going to need two directories. So we're going to want the um, our NVENC encode API 64 is going to patch to our system 32. But again, if you run Moonlight Streaming, you'll want to run that patch code first. So let's go into documents. And we're going to go into our Jellyfin patch where we put it. And we're going to run the skip sig check. Wait, that's not right. Hold on. Sorry, I made a mistake. We're going to actually click on that skip sig check and then right click on skip sig check dot reg and save it as that. I apologize. Because what that's going to do is it's going to save the dot reg so it can edit the registry. Okay. Now that's done. We go back. Now we can go in here. We can double click the skip reg and run it. And it's going to basically run. You can just. Doing normal, just going to run through the registry editor and add a registry to it. Okay. And we want to click yes. You won't get that error because I already have my registry. I already did it to mine. It should send that registry now. Now we want to extract this um, this RAR file. You can use any extractor you want. I use WinRAR. That's really up to you. Next, we're going to load up this application. It should ask you for administrative rights. Just click yes. We're going to load up the API, uh, the NVIDIA encode API 64 first, because that's what we're doing. 
Okay, once you click on that, we're going to go into our this PC. We're going to go into the C drive. Go into Windows, System 32, because that's the one we do for API and Code 64. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you should only have one file enabled to click on, which is great. As you can see, it's right here. Click on that. And then we click, you can leave these alone. Click Patch. I already did mine, so I don't need to do it again. And let's say you're going to do it again. You just uh, This time, you just click on the three little dots at the top, and we're going to do the API 64. So let's go there. We're going to go to our documents again, where we put our patch file. And we go into um, our Jellyfin patch. Go into API 1337. And this time, we're going to go back into this PC. Syst local to C system uh, Windows system SYS W64 and again scroll all the way to the bottom until we see one file and we're going to patch that. Okay, once that's done, all you need to do is basically have a, um, a reboot and you should be set. Once that's done, you should be able to have a limited amount of streams on Jellyfin. So if I go to um, my Jellyfin, so it's localhost 8096, and I log in. Once you're in there, you go into settings. You want to go down to dashboard. Okay. And you want to go down into find it playback and we want to now take our cards this is where we figure out what our card is so you want to go to this website I'll also list in the description I'm going to check to see what we can enable so mine's a GTX or I'm sorry a 1650 super so here's a 1650 super I can enable these settings in the settings so as you have h264 H.265 and HEVC and 10 bit support. Okay, so let's go into our playback settings. I have H.264, HEVC, which is the one that said MPEG 2 and MPEG 4, which is common, VC1. And then if we go down here, we want to check the encoding. So if we go down to decoding, sorry, we do 1650 super. As you can see, I have MPEG 1, MPEG 2, VC1. Is yes, VP8 is yes, VP9, all the 12 bit. Um, everything's basically enabled except for AV1. So we enable everything else except for AV1. See, so everything's enabled. We want to enable enhanced NVENC decoding decoder, enable hardware encoding, allow encoding HEVC formats, and you can enable tone mapping, but it's not necessary. And then just go down to the bottom, all the bottom, click save. Um, for me, I'm not going to do it because I have my settings saved. Well, let's say I had a 960, right? Which I do have a 960 currently. I do have a 960, so if I type in GTX, or I'm sorry, I think I have a 9, yeah, 960. Here we go. There we go, 950, sorry. Oh, wait. Yeah. So this is a 950 and a 960. And they enable all these except for VP9. And H265. So all I have to do is go in here, enable H264. And it goes into 10 bit H265. So I can do HEVC, which is H265. But on VP. If we go down to, go down to encoding. We can get everything except for eight. I'm sorry, everything except for H.265 and HEVC 8-bit. So we can do H.264 and H.265 HEVC, as it says right here. But it can't do H.265 and 4K, just so you know. So, and I can't do 10-bit. So I would disable, um, I would enable H.264, HEVC, MPEG-2 and MPEG-4, obviously, because it says it right here. Maybe it doesn't.
No, it says it down here. So I have MPEG-1, MPEG-2, VC-1, and VP-8. So we'll enable VP-8. It does not do VP-9. So we would have to disable VP-9. HEVC 10 bit, obviously, because it doesn't allow that. Oh, I can do HEVC 10 bit. See? There's your HEVC 10 bit. So we can enable that. Does not do VP 9. As you can see here. And then once that's done, we can leave the rest the same. But since I already have those enabled, I'll put them back on. So just about following what it says on the, on the directions on this website for NVIDIA, encoding, decoding on your chipset. Um, if you have a Quattro, like these, this is in the, essentially, as you can see, like if I type in on my GeoForce, I type in my 1650 Super. As you can see, the max limit to my Touring Edition is three streams. With this patch, what it does is it allows us to unlock the professional edition or server edition of Quattro. So see how on here, uh, let me go to one. This one has unrestricted, or this one has unrestricted over streams. Maximum concurrent sessions is unrestricted. That's what it allows us to do with this patch. So essentially it allows us to have unrestricted um, you know, buffers for our consumer grade Devices so our max encourage streams goes from three to unlimited basically. So just so you know, if you guys have any questions or concerns, any information past, any issues, let me know. Be more than willing to explain to you and give you insight. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or want to leave a like or hit that subscribe button, I always love to see that. And have a great rest of your day.